Hi, in this video today we're going to see what happens when we plug in an external Ultra HD drive into the PlayStation 5, but the digital edition, the one without the disc. Now, obviously, this isn't going to work, but I did something earlier that was quite interesting. So when I plug in an actual 4K Ultra HD disc, first time round it won't work, but then once it stops spinning, if you kill power to it and then pull it back in, it will actually bring it up on the screen. It won't let you play it, but it recognizes what the disc is. So I thought, get the camera out and let's film a load of different ones. So I've got PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, etc. in there. Let's give them all a go, even a PlayStation 4 game and a PlayStation 5 game, and let's see what happens. So let me just show you what I mean. So I'm using the USB-C port at the front here, and into the back here. The same thing happens when I use the USB ports at the rear using this. The first time it won't work, but then the second time it will. Not, not to play, just to uh, show up on screen. So this is the movie here, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and you can see that this one is a 4K Ultra HD. So I will be fast forwarding through the majority of the video because it's going to be boring watching it do nothing. We just want to see whether it brings up anything on screen or not. So if we were to go over to media, right now it's spinning up. So I'm just going to fast forward through until it stops spinning. Also, I forgot to mention that when it brings it up on screen, it then locks this up. So I then have to unplug it and plug it back in even to get the disc out. Right, there you go, it's just spun down now and nothing's displayed on the screen. Now watch this. Let's unplug it from the back. So the disc is still in here and then plug it back in and this time it will sound a little bit different. Oh, okay, it actually brought up too many USB devices connected. I haven't seen that before. But let's say, see now if it's gonna work. Spinning up again. And it's making different sounds this time. And there you go, it's brought it up here, look at that. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and it's recognized it as a 4K Ultra HD. But then if I was to go to press play, look what happens. So go down to here, press play, and it will just come up with this. Can't play the disc, more info or okay. And if I go to more info, it just comes up with that it's, uh, the error code's not recognized. There you go, sorry we're unable to find that error code. But it's interesting, so let's get out of that. I just wanna see what happens if I do that there. Oh, play from the beginning, let's see. If that's gonna make any difference. Nah, I can't play the disc. Right, okay, now watch this. You see, I can't eject it now. So it's seized itself up. So what I'm gonna do is unplug it to eject it. There we go. Right, let's now try going from CD upwards. But obviously I'll be fast forwarding through it all because it's gonna take a, a long time to do this. So to begin with a music CD. There you go, it's come up with something different there, unsupported disc. So just before all the hate comes through in the comments, I know none of this is gonna work, but it's still interesting to know that would it be possible, but if Sony was to break, bring something out, would it be possible to get discs working on a digital edition? So that's unsupported disc on the CD. Okay, and it didn't lock up that time. Let's try a PlayStation 1 game, Driver 2. And interestingly, that came up, the last one, on the game section, not the media section. Right, so on this one, nothing's happened. I don't know whether this isn't supported by the PS5 as left over from the CD one, or whether the same thing's happening on the PlayStation 1 disc. I'm just gonna go to eject disc and see whether it can eject it from here or not. Ah, no it didn't, but yet it got rid of it from there. So now I'm gonna unplug it and plug it in again, and we'll know this time whether it, that was left over from the CD or whether it's uh, the uh, PlayStation 1. Yeah, there you go, unsupported disc. So it's come up again with unsupported disc for PlayStation 1. Let's try a PlayStation 2 game. This is Cat in the Hat. All right, nothing, so I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in again while the disc is already in there. Okay, and it's come up with unsupported disc again under the games side of it. 
Let's try a DVD. So this is Stuart Little. Let's see if this will come up under games or media. It's doing something different. Here we go. And this time it's come up under the media, not the games. So under games, it's not there at all, just media. All right, let's go to play. Hasn't come up with any screenshot though. And again, it says cannot play disc. More info, it will just say the same thing again. Yeah, it's the same thing all over again. Let's try a PlayStation 3 game. This is the Need for Speed. Most wanted. Okay, the PlayStation 3 disc has done nothing. It's not even spinning up. So I'm going to unplug it and do it one more time. No, it just turns itself off. So that's the first one that hasn't been recognized as an unsupported disc or as a media disc. Oh, well, that's interesting. Let's try Blu-ray. Toy Story 3. Okay, so Blu-ray again, this time under games, not media, but under games, says unsupported disc. Let's eject it. Ah, it's not letting me eject it, look. Yeah, so it's not happy. Let's see if I can eject it from here. Yeah, I can eject it from here anyway. All right, now let's see if I can eject it. No. Okay, so that's going to be stuck on there now. All right, let's try. Before we do the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 game, let's throw in an Xbox game. Class versus Zombies, Garden Warfare 2. Right, nothing's happened there, unless of course it's come up with unsupported disc. I'm just going to try to eject. Okay, so it let me do that then. So I'm just going to do this one one more time. Yeah, unsupported disc. But at least this time it lets me eject it. Which was strange how it wouldn't allow me to do that on the other one. PlayStation 4 game, Gran Turismo Sport. Right, interesting, just like the PlayStation 3, this one's not doing anything. Let's give it one more go. And if I go into my library, because this is brought over from my PlayStation 4, and go in there, let's see what it does. View products, it's got a, a padlock up there, so it's locked. Yeah, it's asking me to buy it. Yeah, so annoyingly, PlayStation 4 is not doing anything. Okay, let's try PlayStation 5. I think it will be exactly the same as a PlayStation 4. Spider-Man. Right, so it's not spinning anymore. Unplug it and plug it back in. And it's spun down again. And it hasn't brought anything up. No, nope, nothing there at all. So out of all of them, this is the most interesting one, the Ultra HD 4K disc, because at least that brings up a little title screen. Isn't it strange though how you have to let it go through once, pull the power and then put it back in for it actually to work. There we go, that's really interesting that. And if I go to games, yeah it doesn't bring anything up there, just purely under media. But that is... Uh, yeah, that's pretty impressive. We knew it wasn't going to work, but it's interesting to see what happens with it. So on the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, it does nothing at all. But on most of the other ones, it comes up with unsupported discs, or some of them, they are recognised as media discs, but this is the only one here that actually brings up a picture there. So uh, yeah, who knows in the future, 
Could it be possible to do this? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It saves you having to run the same experiment yourself now because you know what happens when you do this. And if you thought about maybe getting one of these and then later on when you've got more money, buying one of these to fit into it, no, you're going to have to save up more money and get the disc version to begin with. So that's it. Take care. Bye now.